Um, I need to buy clothes before I can use them here? Come on! I mean, I will. I will buy clothes. Number one priority for me is to buy clothes. But where do I buy them at? Uh, probably the store that has a giant shirt sitting in front of it. Which, by the way, I, I hate to admit. When I played this on 2DS, I couldn't see that. I couldn't see that symbol at all. Nothing. Because unlike the other game, I don't need a tutorial. Uh, logo cap, button accessory. Ooh, wait a minute. So we got a cute little blue one with a flower. We got a cute little green one with a button. Uh, we got this nice looking like classy one. We got this classic trainer. I don't know which one I want. Oh my gosh, they're gonna take all my money. See, that's another thing I like. Kinda. Accessorizing costs money. Oh wait, do I have goggles? I got- are those goggles or glasses? I think they're glasses, not goggles, but... Let me see. Yeah, those are sunglasses. Not quite as cool as goggles. I am adorable and have giant boobs. Man, I I don't know which one of these I want. They're all kind of cute. But I think I'm really leaning towards the classic. So I can be like the classic red, but I'm stylish because it's black. Uh, you know what? I'll buy the logo cap. Yeah, it's also really cheap. Cool. So, I'm gonna step into here. Uh, why would you walk up to me and tell me that? You friggin' creeping on me? Jeez. Oh. Well then. I mean, I bought this. Um, I don't know how this is actually going to look. Oh, that looks kind of cute. Yeah, I can live with that. Now I just got to buy the proper matching shirt and or shorts or something. But are these more hats to buy? No, I can't buy the pink one? Why can't I buy the pink or blue ones? Y'all suck. I know this looks not so good right now, but keep in mind, this is only the first purchase. When I get to other places, I'll be able to buy other clothes, I'm sure. I'm aiming to get probably pants or shorts, and mix that in with probably a t-shirt or something. I wish I, I wish I could have a vest. Uh, am I supposed to fight the gym leader? Yeah. I'll beat you. I'll beat you silly. Because, you know, that's what you do to people, right? You just beat them for no reason. Oh, see, right there, she has a reason. She only has a zigzag goon. She needs to have a better Pokemon if she doesn't want to get beaten by a 10 year old. Um, I'm trying to make that into a joke. But I'm just not willing to go full out and make it an absolutely offensive, horrible joke. I could. I could make it so offensive that it would probably shock people into laughter. But, you know, I'm not really about that and I'm trying to keep the channel somewhat child friendly. As in, I don't want to swear and I want to keep uh, more offensive content usually off of it. Unless it really is absurd, like absolutely absurd humor. Uh, cool. I hate the roller skates and I don't remember why. What is it about? Um, cool. Do 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 do. Talk, talk, talk. Man, I need to sit differently.
Okay. I remember what I hate about them. Oh no, why did I actually go out of my way to get those? Oh, I remember what I hate about them. They're attached to the thumbstick. And they have, like, no control. Oh, no. I hate these. Ow, my foot. I've been sitting on it for the past... Twenty-eight minutes. I don't need to hear any of your crap. I'm gonna go in here and eat these people alive. Mm. Oh, that's cool. I forgot that gyms used to be really cool. Okay, they became really cool. They didn't start off really cool. Gyms used to be absolute trash. They might have a little tiny puzzle, but they just had no flair. And then Pokemon Diamond and Pearl is when they added flair to the gyms. And that was amazing. I need to stop using this Pokemon immediately. Okay, I might actually keep the item, like when I do eventually get the EXP share, I might keep it on. Um, only because I'd like to be able to beat this game a lot faster. Um, Pokemon. So I got, I got a slight concern with what I'm thinking about now. And the concern is thus. What is my concern? I have no idea what I was even saying. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna be quiet. I, I thought I had something important to say. I had a big old concern and everything, but I uh, apparently I'm full of crap. Spupa. Spupa dupa. Now, I, I remember I really enjoyed the design of the Butterfree variant in this game, but I also remember thinking that it looked a little bit like trash. Ooh, that's not a good idea. Hopefully he can just use Harden, raise his normal defense, and then I'll just come in here and bubble him to death. But I probably could have used a bit more training. Nope, he can tackle. That's not good. But I do need to level up, so I'm going to have to keep this. I am tired, by the way, in case no one could tell, obviously. Um, and besides just being tired, I also got another slight concern. And the slight concern is that... Well, it's not really a concern. It's more of a conundrum. See, here in a couple videos, and probably tomorrow, will be my hundredth video. Uh, yeah, why not learn Lick? It's a ghost type, right? Just get rid of Growl, because no one likes it. If I move my elbow to this position, it might be a lot better for me. But, yeah, um... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I have an idea of a special tiny little video, but I'm not sure if I'm really gonna go through with it or if it'll even work. You know, mo like most of my life, not sure if I'll go through with anything or make it work. Lol. But isn't that true for most people? Like, don't most people go through life not sure of anything until they, they do it and either fail completely or succeed? Okay, well, she said tee hee hee. Yeah. Did she have, like, messed up teeth? I don't remember, but I think I remember seeing her teeth be a little weird. Like, I just saw it, and something looked weird for about five seconds, and then she was gone. Okay, so here's one thing that is... Here's, here's one comparison to, uh... 
Sun and Moon that I like. You can see the trainers in Sun and Moon. Um, there's also a slight concern of like, as I've been playing it, a lot of times the camera just, just flips out and doesn't let me see both Pokemon or see who I'm fighting. And that's always the worst. I kinda need to be able to tell who I'm fighting if I expect to be able to win. You know, if that's at all sensible. But I can't do that always in Sun and Moon. Like this view, this view right here is amazing. Because I can see who I'm fighting and what's going on. It's like, you know, d dynamic cameras are cool and all. But if you're taking away too much from being able to see the whole battle, sometimes I gotta stop and wait until I see the enemy before I'm like, okay, now I know what I'm doing. And it's a it's a mild concern, but it's definitely one of the game things in this game that I see are say are a plus. Like that and the fact that there's like no tutorials. I like that. Like, I've been playing for two and a half hours, and I'm not going to see many more tutorials. And when I do, they're going to last, like, less than a minute or two. Uh, don't care. Let me fight you. Stop talking and let me kill you. Ow! You... Arg! You B-word! You just, like flash a camera in my eyes and then start a fight with me? Who does that? You clearly are putting me at a physical disadvantage as a human being so that you can win the Pokemon fight. If you honestly gave me two Surskits as your... No, she didn't. It just... The Surskit killed my Pokemon. Okay. I'm out of it. Uh, you got the pretty one with the pink wings. Where do you get that from? Like, that one was always one of my favorites. I wanted that one. But I think as an American, I get an ugly one. Because they're actually based on what region you live in. And, no, you can't just change it in the middle of the game. Apparently, collecting all... I think it's all 26 of the frickin' vanillas. What are they called? Vivillions. Yeah, collecting all 26 of them is not only super challenging, but super annoying. And not exactly impossible, but annoying. They were in someone's top 10 rarest Pokemon list. Jeez, and I know you're gonna use a potion. Oh, you used infestation. That's not a thing, is it? Uh... I can get a I can get away with a normal potion. Yep, and she used a potion, just like I thought she would. I'm gonna use a potion just like I thought I would. And then I'm gonna kill you with this little bird. Nom nom nom, my bird's hungry. Growl. I won't use that, but I will hope that I can peck you to death with a critical. Ooh. That was a critical, but you didn't die. Your one purpose in this life, Pavilion, is to die for me. Okay, so it didn't kill me. I was terrified for a second that it was going to kill me. Yay, Pavilion's dead. It's really dead. Did I zoom into my bird, or am I just crazy? Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, I think agility's good, right? Makes me faster. Why would I... I'll replace Growl. No one wants Growl ever. When does Pavilion evolve into the Firebird? Well, I'm gonna guess, like, level 20 or something. Just guessing. Um... Cool. I defeated the leader. You also have weird teeth. Because we can only see a little bit of it. It makes it look like you got, like, one chickmunk tooth. You look like Squirrel Girl. Just, you're not as awesome. 
Speaking of which, I I don't know, but I I've heard the Squirrel Girl comic book got canceled. And if that's true, it's a little sad, but I also have a feeling that maybe the writers don't know what Squirrel Girl is supposed to be. Like, there's a reason that there is a fandom for Squirrel Girl. And the reason is simple. She's the character who can inso innocently and accidentally beat everyone. She even defeated Deadpool by, like, scratching him. Okay, so, oh, I really like these paintings. Can I actually see them all? No. Okay, so there is, these are photographs. They do kind of have that photo realistic look to them, but they also look like paintings, so it's really cool. Nice job on the art there, uh, Game Freak. I'm going to save, and that's going to be it for this episode. Yay. But if you guys like this episode, please like, comment, subscribe, and please share this video with your friends. And, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.